Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Media for iPad. Today I want to talk about the controller lane and how to use automation to control various aspects of Meteor. In the following example, we're going to use controllers to automate volume and pan changes on a track by track basis. To add automation controllers to a track, tap the arm button next to the designated track and tap again to open the controller lane. This reveals several useful tools to the left of the track view. The pen tool for drawing freehand, the eraser tool, the ruler tool, which can be used to draw straight lines, and the colour tool, which can be used to assign a colour to a track. Underneath these tools, there's another button which allows you to select the current controller, in this case, volume. I'm going to stick with volume and add a fade into track 2 using the pen tool. Now, if we tap in the controller area and drag our finger across the screen, we can draw a freehand volume curve. Not very good. <laughs> now, let's listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so I'd have been better off using the ruler tool, but you get the idea. If you want to remove controller data, just select a rubber and drag across the screen. Now, if you wanted to make simple volume changes just from one level to another, you're better off just entering a single controller uh, at the appropriate point. Don't be tempted to draw controllers across the entire track. Uh, that would just be wasteful, both in terms of CPU and storage space. Now, if you tap and hold in the controller area, you'll bring up a controller menu. And this allows you to remove automation for a particular type or all automation for a track. It's far simpler than going through and manually using the rubber tool. So now I'm going to try and add a little bit of a pan. It's very difficult to draw this and talk at the same time, but here we go. Uh, it's going to be a bit of an approximation, but you should get the idea. Now let me just extend that a little so we have full sweep from left to right. Now if we keep our eye on the mix settings, we should see the pan knob uh, as it's automated from left to right. So let's have a listen. <laughs> Okay, so now you know how to add and remove controllers. You probably notice you can also add uh, controllers to the send levels for each of the three auxiliary effects. Now you might have times when you want to copy a portion of your song from one location to another, and usually you would do this with copy and paste. Now you can tap on a clip to select it, tap again to deselect, and you can drag selections with your finger. But none of these methods actually selects controller data. It simply selects the clip itself. So in this case, I have two clips selected. If I tap and hold on one of these clips and press copy, you'll see that two items are copied to the clipboard. Now to copy controller data, you first need to open a controller lane and then drag your finger across the uh, track window, not inside the controller window, but on the track window. And this will select not only the clips, but the controller data. Now, if I tap and hold in the controller lane itself and pick copy, you'll see that 54 items were copied to the clipboard. Now, those 54 items do not include the clip, just the controller data. But if I tap and hold on the clip itself and pick copy, you'll see that 55 items are copied. In other words, the clip and its controller data. So just to prove that, if we uh, move to bar 38 in the song, tap and hold and press paste, you'll see that 55 items were pasted at the new location. So that's it for now. Have fun 
and watch out for more exciting tutorials coming soon.